We're going to do a guided drawing of a lion today, and we're also going to add lots of different lines that we've learned about in our lion's mane. So we're going to use a piece of manila paper, and if you don't have manila paper, you could just use white paper. That's okay, too. Um, and you're also going to need your crayons. And you might want to start this with a pencil first, and then you could always go back over the pencil lines with a black crayon to make those outlines really stand out. I'm going to draw with a marker so that you can see what I'm doing a little better. Okay, so the first thing we're going to draw is a rectangle for our lion's head. And it's going to be in the middle of the paper. Okay. All right, and the next thing is a triangle for his mouth. It's gonna come up like this, and then down into that corner. All right, we're gonna draw his nose. We're gonna have a little line that comes up, just a short little line, and then a triangle for his nose. All right. And then the bridge of his nose is going to go up from this triangle all the way up to the top of the paper. Not the top of the paper, the top of the rectangle. Okay, I'm going to give him some eyes, just circles for our lion's eyes with little dots in the middle for his pupils. All right, he needs some ears. And we're gonna draw his chin. His chin comes down like this. Okay. So now if you drew that with a pencil, you may want to go ahead with a black crayon and do your outlining now. We're also gonna add some whiskers. This is his mouth here, and remember this is his chin, so you can put some teeth in your lion's mouth. And we can color in his nose and his mouth. We can color those in all black. Okay. Now we are going to color our lion's face in too, but um, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to show you how to do the lion's mane. So the lion's mane is that furry part that goes around the lion. And we're, that's where we're going to add all of our lines that we've been talking about. Now, if you want to use realistic lion colors, you could pick colors like brown and orange and yellow, or you could make a colorful lion, and I think that's what I'm going to do this time. So I've got lots of colors I'm picking here for my lion. Okay, and so what you're going to do now is you're going to go around the lion's head and you're going to draw different kinds of lines coming out from the lion's head. So you could have some straight lines. What other kind of lines did we learn about? We learned about wavy lines. can use whatever kind of lines you want. You don't have to use the same colors or the same kinds of lines that I used. Okay, we can use, we could uh, make some zigzag lines.
All right, and then I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do some curly lines. That one's a little hard to see that color is. That's okay. Okay, so after you complete his mane, so you're gonna um, make sure you have lots of lines coming out from your lion's head to make his lion's mane. And then um, if you haven't already, you're gonna go back in and you're gonna color his face in. Make sure you're adding, you're coloring everything. You could even color, um, if you're using this manila paper, you could use white for your lion's eyes and for his teeth. That will show up if, if you have manila paper. Okay, so there is, is how you make your lion with lines.